Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a bug fix, which when we remove items from the shopping cart, I didn't change the total price. Okay, so now let's uh, take a look at the code behavior first. Okay, uh, I haven't changed the code, so here let's uh, suppose here I add a shopping add a cart. Okay and uh, we can go here and add one more uh, 30 and one more 30, uh, 60 add no problem right but when i delete 10 this total price is not deleted see here not a change it see here when i delete and now if i add one more here you will see it's a 70 because it's not a, it's not it's not being uh, updated when we delete that will cause a problem right how to fix it uh, the problem is inside the user when I remove a shopping cart here after I remove I didn't do anything on the uh, pr total price change that's why it has problem and based on our structure in my shopping cart here the items are only store for the product ID I didn't store for the price so unfortunately we have to uh, first is to get the price right we have to do is to get the price okay so how to do it? Uh, if we find it, then we have to use the product control Z product dot find by ID. Then we use the product ID. Uh, you can use async await like uh, this way. You can use async await like this way. Okay. You can also use promise. Suppose we are using async await. We can change all of them to use async await. Okay. So here I will have an await. And then here I will have a const prod, which will get the product. From product, then I can get the product price. So after I splice, then you can do is yes, uh, uh, change, uh, change the total price. We're just using a similar idea, so which is a similar idea here. After the total price, okay. So here we have to do is yes, uh, get the product the price and multiply the quantity. How to get a quantity? We need to, uh, I have to do this step before the items, otherwise I cannot get it. Or you can get the item first, right? I have to do before uh, control Z, control X. I have to do before this, this line. Because if I splice already, it cannot get it, okay? Then items, then I will have is existing. Then I can get a quantity, right? Then I can. After that, you do the same thing as the others, right? So let's test if it works, okay? I'm going to my browser. Oh, uh, by the way, first I have to fix this one first, okay? Let me delete. Because if I delete, it is still have a total price, not a zero. It is still is the uh, 70. So here, this is my database. Here, see here, uh, uh, 60, okay? Uh, here, no, no, nothing because uh, uh the previous uh, the show you the behavior okay i have to start from zero first okay so from zero then i add uh, one item and let's add one more let's add one more and let's add one more and let's add one more and let's add one more okay so now i'm uh here suppose i delete the react so here you change to be one one zero and if I delete this knowledge.js, it should uh, multiply for the quantity should be two, which is uh, ninety, right? And now thirty multiply three is uh, ninety, and delete. And then we go back and I'll add one more, and you have a fifty. So start with zero now. Okay, so here add one more. You have eighty. Delete one. Thirty. Delete one. Have okay. So not difficult to fix. Just. Uh, here you just um, uh, minus with the product dollar price and card item is the same quantity okay so that's it for this video uh thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye